Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Operator Tremere Expert Training. I'm your host, Nando Romana, and in this video, what we're going to see is the interlock functionality that we have in the software. So let's go to the software. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, let's maximize this, expand all this. So what I'm going to do is something simple, how to use the interlock that we have in some of the elements. So let's try to design something quick here. So I'm uh, going to use a toggle switch that is going to enable or disable the interlock in some of the objects. Then I'm going to use this numeric display. Okay, I'm going to use the text just to show some indication. So what I'm going to do is to create two variables. One is going to be to enable or disable the interlock. And the other one is to show that I'm going to change something. So <clears throat> let's go to the variables here. Script note, all variables. And here I'm going to define a word. It's going to be um, bar. And then I'm going to create a Boolean variable. So it's going to be enable. All of this internal. <clears throat> so. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be the one that activates or disable the interlock. So now what we need to do is to play around with some of the variables. Here I'm going to assign a variable, the variable that I have created, this one. And then here I'm going to use no interlock. Now, here I need to put a variable, the one that's going to activate or deactivate the interlock. This one can come from a PLC or here in the HMI just to enable disable once you have some securities. It will depend on what you want. Okay, but this one's just for an example. Put it upside here. Now I'm going to copy this gradient and interlock with interlock. Mm -hmm. Let's just maximize this a little bit. Yeah. And here, what we need to do is in function details, we have this interlock. So we need to enable it. And then here, we just need to assign a variable. The variable will be this enable. So, okay. So let's test this out. <clears throat> Just wait for this to finish. Now I want to show you one of the things that it may happen. See the other screen, and there we go. So here, unable to touch everything. Okay, brilliant. And you change both of them. And now that I activate the interlock, okay. You can see that I cannot change, but the value can change from another side. But here in this one, it cannot change. Okay. Now, this is easy as you can see. Now, what happens if I don't want that the interlock is activated when I have the one? I just want it to be activated when I have zero. Okay, no problem at all. The way to do it is using the converters. So here we just need to go to converters range c bool invert no, invert bool so we're going to change that so input is going to be boolean the output is going to be boolean variable also and here when it's false i just get one and when it's one i just get false um because it's boolean so i'm going to copy this ctrl c ctrl b move it around here with interlock plus converter and let's just put this a little bit bigger now okay and again in details we just need to go to interlock but on the variable part, we select the variable that we want that came from the PLC or 
just the HMI. And here in the converter, we just need to assign the converter that we have already defined. And then, okay. You can see that we have in the binding part, the yellow with a small square. And that uh, white small square, or I believe now it's a circle, uh, it means that it has a converter. So now, if we compile this, you are able to see the opposite way. So when it's off, okay, it's on the other side. When it's off, you can see that this one, okay, is not enabled. Now I'm going to activate the writing, for example, and it just work. Okay, it's just the opposite way because I just invert that using the converter. Okay, so this is how we can work with the com with the interlock okay just to disable the use of one specific object and then if you want to change the logic we just need to use a converter just to invert the uh, negate or invert the, the boolean variable that we have in order to play in the other way with the interlock of the option so thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one